a warm welcome to Dr. Karan Verma sir. He is the assistant professor in computer science and engineering, National Institute of Technology, Delhi, NIT, Delhi. He does PhD in computer science and engineering, M.Tech in computer science and engineering, and B.E. He has professional teaching research experience 10 plus years, 7 plus years. He is research interested in mainly machine learning, IoT, information security, network security, deep learning, etc. He is published many research papers in national and international journals. Now I warm welcome again to Dr. Karan Verma for starting the new session. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. First of all, good morning, all who joined here, faculty member, students, and the, my colleagues. Good morning, and thank you for giving chance to me to be introduced or interact with the faculty member as well as the student and the, my colleagues. Okay, so today we have to be uh, and they have uh, introduction part we cover them as well as we try to be cover deeply part for deep learning so actually deep learning uh, is the combinations of the machine learning neural network and as well as the uh, we can say cloud computing also okay so this is the combinations of a lot of lot of uh, different areas but the main area is for basically everything comes connected to the uh, IoT, okay, because main applications to be finally uh, get them particular outcomes in efficient manner. We we get uh, the some uh, numerically, uh, theoretically as well as the practically uh, uh, outcomes. Okay, so I try to be cover them as deeper as my knowledge for deep learning. Okay, so this is the outlines of today my presentations. We try to be cover the basics, introduction of machine learning. Then I will go deep learning, some main component, DNN applications and the relations. Okay, and some applications also I will cover them. And back propagations and these things I will not cover them because is is I think supposed to be little bit different to the machine learning part because the neural network is totally uh, now you are seeing that. All the mobiles have to be worked properly from there are a lot of iOS applications and as well as the uh, Android based. This is outcomes come for the neural network. So these things I not be covering these out in presentations. OK, so we start with the machine learning. If you say machine learning application is like that machine learning is a field of computer science that gives the computer to ability to learn without being expertly programmed. Meaning of that, uh, if supposed to be you don't have any expertise of the particular uh, hardware or the software. So machine learning provide the platform interference to to the users who's connected uh, recently to the particular the things and then they will give you train them an efficient manner and easily easy way to be understanding the things. OK, so there are two things are there training and testing part training part. It's supposed to be you are taking something from first time for any hardware or anything software or any phone. So you, you can't take anything from the uh, 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 say training from uh, the institute or any other organization. You directly go and use them. The same thing here. They have trained the data. They 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 try to be training uh, the data and these training data to predict predictions based uh, mechanism we apply that just like supposed to be and uh, there are two type of algorithms are there we are using supposed to be if you are predicting and prediction something from the anything from user's perspective which you require them now time so we we take the data they're supposed to be the data we can say simply because the data is two type label data and label data label data means particular all the information in proper manner in the database Whatever requirement you just supposed to be you have to take some some results from the students. So student result you required all the information marks, roll number, uh, IDs, email IDs, and everything you have to be available. The same thing here. 
the things will be available from the data and these data we can directly implement from the machine learning algorithms these machine learning algorithms have to be uh, apply some learned model learning model we already uh, algorithms have to be cover them so with these label data uh, then after we predict that the same thing here same thing here label data learned model we have to be train the model uh, and then after we predict the something trained meanings means just like supposed to be uh, you have to be uh, one example is x square uh, x plus y equal to z okay uh, z is depending from x plus y value okay whatever the value comes from the x and y the z comes accordingly x and y the same thing here uh, i am predicting something supposed to be my my model have to be just like for ATM machine, the ATM machine, they try to delay uh, as low as, as possible means uh, latency comes is as low as possible. OK, so we try to be remove the latency from once we are executed by uh, modules by modules, module one, module two, module three, module four, and then we can combine them. Then after we, we get finally result from the some different terms, just like for money, sometimes from the accounts information sometime from different different they have different different terms you can use from the bank perspective which is the user uh, requirement okay the same thing here the learning is like that you train the model you test the model you train the model and then you have to take the predictions now your side uh, just like supposed to be the trained we simply manner we can say is probability okay my probability is like that I will I will get from the outcomes is 100%, but 100% is not possible in the real application in the real scenario. Some error will definitely came. So we try to be remove the error. So this error will remove is a learning model. Train the model. We try to be implement test it. Then whatever error we get them, we remove the error and we again send the information to the data. And you you these these error will comes from this side it you remove we can try to remove again uh, run the data and take the prediction outcome this is the simple mechanism from the uh, all the models that's supposed to be android based applications uh, ios based application what they are they will give you one app every time okay well, it, it, there are two type of uh, app they will give you stable or unstable app a stable means they are finalizing app now no need to be modified but is not possible modify because some bugs definitely will be available some changes will required every time as per uh, user uh, user uh, uh, feedback system user whatever feedback comes from the user side accordingly the developer will do to be to be modify changes upgrade the things okay so whatever uh, information feedbacks information come from the user once they are used them so simultaneously the company's provider or maybe the developers or maybe the, the lot of companies are working there just like a google so they what they are taking feedback from the different different platforms then after they will be uh, whatever information whatever drawbacks comes from the app uh, Android based uh, app or maybe the iOS based app, whatever. So these apps will uh, upgrade them. BIOS will remove. Otherwise, we can update it from the run perspective also. So uh, just like sometimes speed problem, sometimes efficiency problem, sometimes they are taking latency problem. They have different different terms we can use them. So these terms we try to be remove as possible as lowest. Okay. So this is the simple mechanism we can use them. So. Uh, method that can be learned from the make predictions of the own data okay so this is the simple mechanism from machine learning okay so now we can say this is the type of learning how many type of learning are there okay so <clears throat> sorry uh, these uh, uh, they have three type of learning uh, if you are seeing that or maybe you have if you are learned that uh, three learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, in management learning. So this is the different classifications of learning. Classification is different different classes we uh, train them, and these classes will take from the uh, data perspective. Just like supposed to be, uh, we have to go 
from the uh, just first of all i just give the example uh, suppose this is the text everyone know this is the text text will be format in the maybe different different uh, microsoft office is there other other platform is there so we divided in classes class a class a different different two classes this is the classification we do we anomaly detection sequentially labels okay we try to be sequence labels labels means uh, we assign from the data from labeling just like supposed to be uh, uh, roll number is one label uh, other roll, roll, other uh, email id is the roll, uh, labels so sequentially we can provide the uh, labels detection there are two things are there detection and prevention detection means we detect the all the thing prevent is we can prevent before the same thing here is just like a antivirus first of all he prevent then after he detect okay so same thing here he will be done it then we apply for recursion model recursion model means we we check the cluster the cluster they have two type of they have showing here uh, trust line or best fit trust uh, trust line or true line is just like for them uh, this is my final line they have to be come in the uh, data will come maybe flow up and down and this line will be moved from the best fit where is the get the best outcomes here okay so same thing here and then after we predict them just like some uh, the some some values or some data from text value we have to be clustering the things uh, maybe this is same type of cluster Uh, the value so we can uh, arrange in the same cluster value this is the same type of values in the one place so we uh, arrange in the same cluster value this is the same cluster value so we try to be differently learning they have three learning we can provide that first learning we can called is the supervised learning learning with a label training set okay uh, learning with a label training set means we we assign for labeling from the data Uh, in properly manner, just like for ID, some ID we can uh, uh, giving to the uh, 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 just like for here example email classification with already label emails because uh, emails always becomes is a uh, properly uh, uh, email schemes. Okay, uh, supposed to be uh, uh, one example is there uh, labeling data we can say. lot of examples are there just like supposed to be right now you are to doing from uh, video conferencing right now we are doing that this is the labeling we already assign particular things to the particular person no one want to be interact with your session this is the supervised learning okay unsupervised learning is discover pattern in unlabeled data uh, is already not uh, is not mm, mm, under uh, just like is not uh, just is not in, under the data is already av not available but patterns will come supposed to be uh, sometime uh, frequency patterns comes in different manner just like we are assign arrange the bandwidth uh, 1, 1 gigahertz to 10 gigahertz okay so he depend for patterns which pattern will come we don't predict that Preview, label supervised learning is predicting everything uh, information come from the different perspective the same thing here unsupervised learning means we can't predict the data just like for uh, simple that's why this is this is different cluster comes in the different directions okay so maybe this cluster comes in the a some 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 are in a some are in a different different labels okay so what will we do we try to be manage them in one cluster in the end time clustering time okay so now we easily to find them uh, where is the red one uh, red one here uh, always be in your Uh, uh in in the one clustering so that's why cluster similar document based on the text okay so we try to be we try to be un un unpatterned means different different pattern schemes and then after frequency also come everything will come and these pattern will be covering that things uh, simultaneously we cover them okay so enforcement learning is enforcement learning basically uh, previously they have uh, drawback come from supervisor and unsupervised learning then will will come from the enforcement learning enforcement learning basically is from from feedback and reward system uh, uh, just like for learn for act based on the feedback and reward whatever feedback comes and then these feedback will get some good outcomes then we can give for enforcement learning just like a gaming mostly they have to play go reward win and go there are lot of things are there 
to be okay uh, win and loss will cover that things okay so we are using uh, unforcement learning we can use them now main differentiate between the machine learning and deep learning because some uh, we we simply say <coughs> Uh, most machine learning method work well because the human design representation and input features okay uh, all the machine learning basically is comes or maybe is performing accordingly from the uh, we simply say uh, user perspective manner okay human design methods okay whatever represent from the human required the input features and these input feature uh, to be to be get the value from the uh, machine learning have to predict the results okay whatever input feature come from the user side and then machine learning have to be organized the same thing here okay so machine learning be just like a optimization bit okay he get the optimization result optimization result means right now i, I, I am the i am the uh, between the between of the just like supposed to be scale okay scale value is 0 to 10 first of all i required uh, uh, mid of the scale value i reach of the mid mid of the scale value so what will we do we have to be move maybe the forward or maybe the backward direction okay so we try to be test from the backward as well as we try to be test as a forward okay and we get the best result from the reach them as soon as possible from the middle side so we tested them and we get the value from the mid point of the scale the same thing here this scale how we'll reach and which mechanism we can use them how we reach as soon as possible this is called as the optimization weight result okay so we get best the final prediction value okay all the results come from the prediction side and these prediction side results have to be get from the uh, user perspective okay so we can say uh, uh, if you say uh, machine learning uh, machine learning we can say uh, machine learning is the prediction predict weight uh, uh, to the mechanism he is divided into categories if you say uh, learning algorithms this learning algorithms we can called if you are simply language uh, is using optimization with the best result in future and the further and the design your data with the future uh, further a computer can be understanding okay so this is the data which can understand from your computer this is the domain specify required phd label talent okay so this is the two things are there if you say simply if you are divided in the machine learning in the perspective of two terms okay if you say uh, if you are uh, simply manner to explaining they have to be uh, working of the these type of parameters if you are required current word previous word next word current word change this is the different different tags tachinism sequence value we can uh, arrange them and they have to be identified from the machine learning this is the simplest manner for machine learning but if you are divided in the machine to the deep learning because deep deep machine learning they have a lot of drawbacks seeing that once they are uh, implementing and once we are we are slowly slowly we are implemented implement in the real world uh, year by year we are we are taking a lot of drawbacks because he's he's working as a prediction this but most of time and most of time they have some some person is that just like supposed to be they have two examples if you are seeing that uh, machine learning is just like for one input comes from the car out car outcome car not car okay so this uh, machine learning we have to be we have to be feature will be extended okay extension will we this will apply for mechanism from classification then we get the outcome okay so maybe this is feature will be always be extended here then after the classification will uh, implemented okay so this is some other outcomes comes and this is other outcomes come so in the deep learning we try to be why required these mediator maybe because his work as a same type of work we have to be done it here for classification now 
can can we can try to be combined together and best result we can get it there so that's why the deep learning comes feature extension plus classification combined together and this uh, are uh, classification this learning algorithm will come on the deep learning input uh, algorithm will implement an outcomes supposed to be my my here my this is my inputs and this is my three outcomes comes okay and this is the uh, neurons simple neurons neural network we can say neurons is there okay hidden layer this hidden layer is is it depending from your input value whatever inputs comes accordingly they have to be accordingly the the classification uh, will or the learning algorithm will implement simultaneously back propagation forward forward propagation algorithm will implementation there so we try to be we get from the outcome okay so this is implement uh, from the deep learning this is the combined together and we can predict only one input okay if you go inside then we get get the predict outcome and then outcome value will come then okay so we can say uh, machine learning as a sub field of a learning okay machine learning sub field of a learning represent of the data first of all uh, we can code is a efficient uh, of the learning pattern okay okay uh, we have to be exponential exponentially efficiently manner exponentially means once you required he will be exponent exponentially efficiently we can learn the patterns patterns will come and we can apply the things okay but in that in the machine learning not be these things will be available okay as well as deep learning algorithm attempt to learn attempt to learn uh, multiple level of represent of using hierarchy of multiple level okay layers supposed to be there are only one layer to be implement here but but in the deep learning we try to be uh, we can say uh, hierarchy of multiple layer we can represent the uh, the uh, the, uh, the data okay multiple level multiple layer to be implementation and these implementation you have apply in the deep learning okay if you have provide the system uh, we can say ton of information begin the understanding of a represent a useful way okay so we we try to be uh, understanding way and we can get the the represent of useful value once you are applying from the deep learning okay so we simply say deep learning is the combinations of the machine learning plus uh, we can say as a cloud computing also okay so why the deep learning is useful okay if you are seeing that uh, i think this is not 2015 is coming from right now is going on okay uh, if this is uh, example from the google Uh, so this google 2010 uh, dl started 2010 after dl started uh, out out performing other ml techniques this is the machine learning if you are say, saying that average deep learning and the machine learning in the 2015 first in speed and the version of nlp because nlp is the uh, linear language programming language we can use the nlp we use them okay so manually designed features are often our specify incomplete and take the long time of the design and validate okay previously they have to be they have to be three terms are using or maybe the two terms are using our specify incomplete information in long time design field of validations and as well as the learning features are very easy adopt first of all is learning features is very easy are easy to adopt fast to learn there is a fast learning to be adopt the features as well as we can say deep learning is the provide a very feasible you, already i am telling that is very feasible universal always everyone use then almost learnable framework you can learn it very easily at manner to the framework as well as for representing of the world okay they have represent whatever information comes in the representing and as well as the virtual and the license or the legal information they have to deliver okay he is working from the both two direction supervised learning and unsupervised learning uh, efficient manner as well as in efficient uh, efficiently end to end joint system learning data okay and the last utilize large amount of training data he is working just like supposed to 
main feature from the machine learning he is handling from the large databases okay if you are saying that state of art then now is using uh, <coughs> 2010 after using from the uh, using the dl and now you are seeing that deep learning how they are using that previously they are using uh, traditionally uh, cv we are using the previously 2010 now 2010 after slowly slowly now everything have to be comes from the deep learning deep learning is using in all over the computer vision world everything we can use the world cup you can using the uh, the things and everything will using deep learning okay so machine uh, nlp they have lot of algorithms there question answering uh, 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 agents There are a lot of the text classification, other machine translation. There are a lot of things are there. You can use the machine learning patterns. Okay, this is the other different uh, different levels of representing world characters, syntax, and semantic are there. Okay, so now we are introduced from the first neural network. This neural network he is the part of first algorithms, or maybe the he the part of the uh, uh, we can say simply uh, deep learning. Okay, so if supposed to be this is the input, and this is outcome is y and the hidden layer is become to h okay so here i my input is is this one if this is the hidden layer is uh, uh, is generated accordingly to your input value input will be generated there and we can get the full value from there okay and then uh, if you say the formula Uh, formula is thus like for h hidden layer is the mu this is the mu plus w1 weightage of w1 value comes from the x1 plus this is the bias b1 okay why the same to w2 h plus b2 from the outcomes is he is he is uh, aggregated aggregated means uh, summations of all the values all the values w1 is coming from this one coming from there and coming from there to hidden h1 then same value come here then same value come here same value come here then summation of that summation of all the things or bias there okay if you calculating just supposed to be they have six neurons 1 2 3 4 then 4 plus 2 uh, uh, 4 plus 2 is there 4 plus 2 six neurons not continuously input then we can calculating 3 multiply by 4 3 multiply by 4 plus 4 multiply by 2 is 20 weightage so how many bias are there how many 4 plus 2 is 6 so how many there uh, 26 learning parameters are there this is not bias this is not neurons are there so neurons uh, weight value is uh, learning parameter is 20 comes from 20 is 2 is 20 and 4 plus 2 equal to 6 6 26 dev bias is there okay so this is called is weight and this is called in activation function once you are activated the value this is my activated value activation function how do you train the training data is like that first of all this is the training pattern we can implement the things <clears throat> Sub first of all we take the sample label data and uh, this label data is called is batch okay we can called in uh, batch simply and uh, this batch system uh this base system we we can send the forward we can set to the forward if through throw the net input value and uh, not uh, input value uh, or the through the input parameter this input parameter is called as a network and then we can predict predict the value forwarding there are two mechanism backward propagation and the forward propagation so forward first one we we we, we try to be forward the data input value okay once you require to the forward we can forward the input parameter value and then after this network we create the network then after we can send the value uh, supposed to be uh, i apply the scale value i just give you an example scale is uh, there scale is 0 to 10 first i will uh, go to the forward 0 to 10 direction side okay suppose to be uh, forward type i will go there and then i will test my probability to reach 
then what happened i will reach in 8 only in between error how much error will get 1% error will get i just randomly tell them the example 1% error will get okay now we we'll, what will we do my next mechanism is to be get the error value where is the get the value the get the value how will we get the values maybe my data data is correct don't have any problem so what happened uh, i will check my all the weight the what how how much weight are implement there because neural network two three important things are there weighted bias as well as the activation function okay three parameter value we add them from your data side okay so first of all we check the uh, once we are apply back propagation back propagation is called the error in the error side we can check the bias value bias as well as the weight value we we check them we can find the error we can upgrade the network weight value so we try to be update the network weight value then we can send to the again the batch system again forward mechanism take the uh, outcomes if you not reach reach in the uh, which you are required then again you have implement there uh, find the error we implement and we can train the data this is the mechanism simply mechanism we can you can try to be implement there okay simplest manner so we can get the value of optimization this is the optimization result this is the example you can get the uh, my swap or my slope is there slope and the slope we uh, check to the my talent line okay this is my outline we try to be reach them as possible uh, the value is fx and where is the x is here so we reach the optimization result optimization result is maybe the minimum or maybe may, may, may the maximum maximum we can get the value the value okay so we 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 try to be get the value so how we are get the value we can get the value of objective or cos function this is the j j delta this is the j delta value this j objective and we can generate error signal this error signal to be major different banner between the prediction and the target value okay what is your predictions and what is your target value okay supposed to be uh, your value your value your value is uh, your your target value is reaching 1 but you are not reaching 1 you are reaching from 0.75 okay so in between they have to be 3.35 is between error is there so we generate in the error signal and then we have to be calculating optimization result and then we remove the error as well as we remove the uh, bias and then we can sorry we remove the error and we get the value from the input to outcomes okay this is the simple things we have to take from the training side okay so use error signal to change the weight okay first of all use the error signal to change the weight and get the more more accurate predictions okay we use the error signals this error signal and this error signal we have to be check the weight value and then after uh, get the accurate predictions of your particular outcomes okay this is the training algorithms and the second thing subtracting uh, subtracting or a the fraction okay this frequency we can get the value of minimize of load functions okay cos whatever the local cos function will generated this function we try to be remove or maybe as low as as, as try to be do it okay uh, otherwise they have to be can't the get the final outcomes value here okay so this is the example is there some example uh, back through result the speed recognition image classification they have one paper is is paper we can take the outcomes if you are saying that uh, dbn and dnn seven hidden layer and seven hidden layer multiply by the 248 units we can implement to the weighted to updated uh, state alignment as well as the classification mechanism 
so they have some some this is some example or some results are there okay this is this is i just show that uh, how you are get the best result from the if you are neural network algorithm you can implement the things so there okay now the first uh, uh, the two two things in generated in your mind what exactly is deep learning first of all and then second is why is generally better than other method or image speed and contain other type of data okay so these is two most important uh, the things will be generated in your mind once we are uh, starting of the deep learning of the primary level okay so my first answer is simplest manner the or maybe the short answer from the things deep learning means using a neural network neural is your just like a your brain okay in the brain the brain how work in different different nodes small nodes are there the small nodes we can called is neuron neurons because uh, neural network basically work similar type of work is just like a brain okay so same thing have to be done it here so we can call uh, is a neural network this neural network our work is a neurons work the similar type of things several layer work synchronizing properly and broadcast the things in the efficient manner so same thing here uh, several layer of the nodes between the input and outcomes comes first of all exactly work and that why the second one is then is working of series of layer series of layer or layers between the input and output do feature identification as well as the processing of the series of state okay just your brain seeing that okay seeing seeing to okay if supposed to be he is working as a serial uh, outcomes comes there and these outcomes will have to be performed there and we can uh, get the outcomes in the efficient manner this is the simplest thing we can uh, say by the two simplest answer okay so third one if oh sorry if the third one is there multilinear neural network have been around for 25 years what is the actually new is already available is already available then what is the new things are there available so we can say uh, we already have good algorithm from learning from the weight in the networks within the one hidden layer the one hidden layer is already available in the last couple of years but this algorithm not good from learning and the weight from network more hidden layers okay he is working in efficient manner for if you have one hidden layers are there but hidden layer one is not giving the outcomes which you required them so we are trained on many stages from the network who's giving the better and efficient outcomes then will comes from the neural network so we accordingly generated the hidden layer which is the requirement of your uh, network or the uh, the apps okay in the neural network predicts predictions of everything will comes from the things so long answer we can say this is the long answer we can covering that the, in the things so first of one by one we can complete the things this is the functions of activation how we are activation this is the uh, activation function in fx we can say fx value is 1 upon 1 plus e k power minus x okay so this is the formula we can get the value of fx activation function this is act how we are activation by this formula you can get this is the value comes from the input three input value we apply the weight value what w1 w2 w2 they are comes from the activation then we'll go for hidden layers okay so activated the value then we can come the outcome value okay supposed to be x value we have to calculate it so x value is supposed to be minus how we will get the value x is uh, uh, point zero, uh, minus 0.06 multiply 2.7 weight 1 plus minus minus or maybe this is the plus value uh, 2.5 multiply not minus minus this is the minus plus value uh, a minus plus value minus minus is plus okay 
a minus minus is plus then 2.5 into 8.6 plus 1.4 into 0 0.002 is comes from 21.34 this is the value of x now we can get the value of fx fx is one this x value we can get them now for activation function values 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus e k power minus 21.34 then you calculate it then you can get the value of fx now they have uh, data set it one data set they have two fields are there maybe the three fields are there they have one row another row another row okay so we are classes this is the class zero class zero this is the class one and class zero so indicated there class zero is black class one hidden layer and then outcomes comes okay this is the things are there so if you are training the neural network then you can train the neural network here and the random we are randomly assigned the weightage this is the main features of the neural network you can assign the randomly assign for weightage so you can get the better outcomes from the, the training data set okay supposed to be uh, we have to take first value of class a 1.4 2.4 1.9 we assign that class 0 so training pattern we assign that now we can get the value of the 0 0.08 how we are get the value of 0 0.08 i will explain in the coming slides the outcomes because this is the fully fully uh, mathematically algorithms there uh, we can call this forward propagation algorithms as well as work as the backward propagation algorithms okay and then is supposed to be this is the my uh, uh, my targeted outcome predictions outcomes comes prediction outcome but my targeted outcome is just supposed to be in 0.9 so how much error my error is 0.1 okay so we again apply the algorithm for forward propagation algorithm to get outcomes 0.8 now error is there so again back propagation algorithm applying here i remove the error then again forward algorithms and then take the outcome so supposed to be next time we can get the outcome is 0.85 now still 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05 is there so again back propagation algorithm apply that apply the the neural mechanism algorithm data set to again that but take the outcomes supposed to be my error is zero because my target output is 0 0.8 0 0.8 okay so again we apply the mechanism uh, error will remove to be implemented weight here weightage is applying here weightage applying here okay so next outcome is here supposed to be this is the uh, here class 0 class 1 then point 0.9 my again our outcome because my outcome is its outcome is 0 okay so error still error there how much error is there uh, minus 0 0.01 so one error our targeted out is one error will here so again we can apply the mechanism to be error will remove here and then adjustment weight and bias to errors okay so repeat these thousand maybe the millions of times for each time for taking a random training instance and making silent weight adjustment okay so this is the the algorithms have to be worked from the neural network this algorithm we can say uh, uh, algorithm for weight adjustment and design to make change that will be reduce the error this is called for back propagation algorithms and the forward back propagation algorithms okay so this is my algorithm we can say my random weight decision maker okay boundary representative okay so we don't know we randomly we can go and we up and down we can go and we create the boundaries of the clusters okay this is the mechanism is decision boundary representative of any initializing weight representation okay we don't know sometime we can go upside sometime we can go downside sometime here so get the better outcomes here this is called for my best algorithms so we can say uh, present a training instant adjustment of weight and the bias we can get the value from sometime up sometime down uh, taking the value there okay 
sometime we adjust him in just here going there here going then here going okay sometime here here now is getting some outcomes good some a good outcome will get he is one cluster he is another cluster he is cluster in this another cluster this is the cluster head okay and these value will come is better better results okay exactly so he depend from he is not depending from the uh, i don't know how many times the algorithm will run and we can get the value from outcomes okay so lot of things are there and then we can get the particular outcomes from particular values okay the point is i am trying to make okay uh, what make is weight learning algorithm from neural network are dump okay they work by the making thousand and the thousand of think adjustment first of all each making of network do better at the most recent pattern okay but perhaps a little worse of many others okay they have to be do it like that but by the dumb luck uh, evolute that trained up to good throat of learn act activated classification of real 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 applications okay so i try to make like that this is the simplest uh, uh, the conclusion of this one is like that we can adjustment accordingly we requirement of predictions of the outcomes okay so we have to be done uh, is supposed to be fx is a non linear because they have two type of network are there maybe the linear and non linear and this is uh, maybe if you have the network with then one hidden layer can be in the theory learn perfectly any classification problem okay very simple if you have one hidden layer is very easy manner to be classification problem to done it but set of weight exist then can we predict to target from the input this problem may be the find them okay so this is the most important how you are existing outcome to be targeting input to be adjustment that okay so this is the predictions outcome we learn that this is the uh, important things are there so some other by the way points is that if you have data is linear the last last slide is non linear if you have linear then we can say neural network can only draw straight forward decision boundary this decision because definitely the linear data set because you, you don't have any problem if many layers you can unit and then you can get the results okay so you can make them accordingly to the your linear and non linear value okay and if you have non linear uh, fx they can be draw complex boundaries okay but keep the data unchanged okay so the main important task to be completed here uh, we simply simplest manner we can say uh, uh, how we are complex boundary to be remove as a efficient manner okay so this is the important task here so now we can come we can uh, say uh, comparison in, uh, in non linear to linear uh no uh, linear boundary we can use the algorithm is svm okay uh, uh, svm is the only draw the straight line but they are transform the way of that makes okay so this is the important thing if you have no linear use no linear so their lines can be draw complex boundaries data first as well as keep the data unchanged that okay okay so this is the things we can do it here uh to the uh, non linear to linear we can arrange them scenarios okay now the feature detections are there the feature detections are there just supposed to be uh, this is the method, uh, this is the handwriting or uh, handwriting digital from the postal envelope okay so we we try to be uh, take the input value supposed to we can take the one value supposed to be this is the uh, value will come Uh, the black is show they have something written here and the <coughs> and the red is show is not be hidden uh, not be written anything supposed to be uh, we have to be identify 0 to 9 which detection features are there available uh, from the outcomes comes here from this one okay and love so we try to be taking as an input value supposed to be red and the black we can take and we can outcomes comes out of output, output one output two output and means 0 to 9 0 to 9 0 to 8 0 to 9 we can be identify some some different different because written hidden 
handwriting some some person is different handwriting some person is different handwriting how we are identify this handwriting is a profi professionally and efficient manner because this is the google uh, extension features are there handwriting features are nowadays is there if you are seeing that lots of lot of features are uh, prediction means whatever you just like supposed to email you have to return that email automatically came whatever you are letting in the main next line maybe the next word okay predict predict them your scenarios and then they can predict outcomes in your uh, in your emails or maybe other perspective so these things are also be introduced here by the feature extension method is there okay what is the you need doing here this is the weightage weight comes here bias and weight comes to be identify the value from the hidden layer okay so if you have hidden layer if you are hidden layer we combine to the 25 maybe the features extension is there so strong plus weightage are there this is the strong weightage and the low zero weightage are there this is the low zero weightage are there okay they are classified 0 to 63 they have met create the matrix and this matrix will be represent and the feature extension and detections are there and what does this unit detect they detect results outcome from the first this outcome is the first then second the third the fourth the fifth then combined and then we we'll get the outcome cc this is the hidden layer one neurons is there as it some time of neurons are also be there it will spread or it will send strong signal to the uh, uh, horizontal line in the top row ignoring everywhere else okay it will be send the strongest line to the uh, horizontal line horizontal line top of the row and then everything will be ignored which is the important you can take and which is not important you can't take it the value okay so if you are create the matrix type of this is the array or matrix we generated these features will be uh, giving the outcomes from there so we can say strong signal to the dark area in the top left corner okay so it depend from the top of the uh, top right corner will get the outcomes here okay so uh, feature extension we may be might to be good uh, a good L, L neural network learning algorithm when the train with the data like this okay they have feature might be expected as a good neural network algorithm they have learning things like that nowadays is very popular to be we can take if you take the vertically then vertically you have to take because if you think if you are saying that this is the same thing this is the same thing and nine first is the same same thing three value will predict that maybe the seventh also be uh, is the similar things will cover them okay so we predict them we have to be identify and you have to be get the value of the uh, the outcomes okay if you say horizontal then we can get the value of this one similar this one similar and this one similar and maybe the eight value is the similar thing okay they have to be take randomly outcomes from the different different terms so we can take the value from the different different perspective okay. if you have small circle then you seeing that two small circle six small circle nine small circles are there just give me one minute okay what about the position in the variance other example you you need detect what the try to specify part of images we depend from some 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 like that is his similar type of this similar type of, of images are there so uh, this is the successfully layer to be learned high level features are there the high level features are uh, just give me one example one minute hello uh eight just one minute eight just just give me one minute just give me one minute only yes sir okay sir
सॉरी सर सॉरी ओके सो दिस इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट डिटेक्शन लाइन फॉर स्पेसिफाइ पोजिशन आर देयर ओके दिस इज द पोजिशन नंबर वन दिस इज द पोजिशन नंबर टू एंड दिस इज द पोजिशन नंबर थ्री ओके सपोज टू बी इफ यू हैव टू बी हॉरिजेंटल लाइन कंबाइंड टूगेदर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट देन वी कैन कम्स इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ओके सो वी कैन कॉल हॉरिजेंटल लाइन वी कैन आर आर जे एस एंड द टॉप लूप top of the loop we can generate it there then we can uh, vector line uh, vertical line we can generate it. some cluster line is there so it depending from how we are uh, identify how we are taking the value of the things okay so all the detections we can combine together and get the uh, unit of detection results one de de detection results comes here okay so multiple layer make sense what is the multiple layer sense is there uh, supposed to be Uh, uh because uh, nowadays is lot of things comes in the uh, healthcare sector also working properly so we have to be get just like this is the one uh, uh, brain work that way uh, the same thing here uh, simultaneously uh, optical train molecular region and there uh, these things are combining 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, op optics uh, things will be combining and we can get the multiple layer combined together we can get the final outcome sheet here hello ha tum ha yaar wo karna hai tabhi call kar do sab okay so this is the things so we can say multiple layer neural network architecture should be capable to learn that the understanding or under layer features of feature logical and therefore uh, generated for for we can say generalize very well okay generalize very well means we simply say uh, right now uh, they have we have to be just like supposed to be we required what okay so what will we do we create the hidden state to be reach to until one okay so your uh, feet, uh, logical feature how you are interpreted how we are you have to be uh, to be apply the mechanism to be different different layer and these layers to be uh, get together and then they have to be get some uh, useful outcomes come of the learning capacity okay so this is called from the uh, multiple layer Uh, sense are making the results supposed to be if this uh, multiple layers are there if you get the results like that how you are identify is very difficult uh, uh, we try to be weight learning algorithm simplify denote work of multiple layer architecture sometime we not be predictable not come the particular outcomes are there okay some cluster are similar type of but he is not in the one cluster maybe this 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 values comes from here or maybe this value comes from here and this value comes from here then we get the outcomes in the properly manner okay so multi layer architecture also very important how you are predict how you are uh, manage them how you are be identify in the properly uh, segmenting okay so this is also very important things are there so uh, so along uh, along came with the deep learning and the deep learning is say a new training data set is comes from the multiple layer we can call is neural network this neural network uh, simply <clears throat> uh, train this layer first uh this uh, training this layer first and this layer uh, to be uh, again then this layer to be trained then then this layer to be trained then and this layer to be layer and then final this layer okay now we can combine it is not one layer is the the channel of the layer by layer to the layer okay so layer 1 then layer 2 then layer 3 layer 4 and final outcome so if in between, in between happened so we applying the back propagation algorithm and we can get the outcomes okay so these features are using in the deep learning new features okay and this uh, uh, okay so this is the channel 
channel means what outcomes from the previous layer and what we are try to be features is new uh, next layer okay so we simply say uh, algorithm is called for each each is called non uh, non outcome layer okay this non outcome layer is simply say auto detector or encoder auto encoder this auto encoder will decide to the futures further and the previously layer okay what outcomes come and what we are predicting that the next layer so this is the new feature from the the simplest manner an auto encoder training is like that so sorry this is my input this input have to be go for hidden layer and then outcomes is here we have to be encoding here then hidden layer to outcome layer we can do for uh, decoding here okay so they have standard weight adjustment algorithm reproducing uh, or reproduce the input value okay it depending from the outcomes to the input value okay uh, so making uh, this happen with many ever unit then the input the focusing of the hidden layer you need to be become the good detector okay once you are good detector with the hidden layer automatically good result will come on outcomes okay so intermediate layer we can say are trained to be but auto encoder or the similar type of things are there and final outcomes we can say uh, predict classes based outcome from the previous layer simplest manner we can say so this is my input layer we can say output layer and this is my hidden layer okay so we can say lot of features are introduced here uh, in the examples and this example we can take the outcomes here okay so this is the first uh, mathematically uh, algorithms to be uh, i think activation function this activation function we can uh, describe the cost and value i skip them because he is not is little bit deeper than uh, for the psd perspective so i just re remove okay no need to be worry about the things you have to be just know about the how we are getting the forwarding pass pass okay they have to be first of all weight this is the weight uh, this weight we have to be adjusted meant to the xi if you have get the value of xi plus my bias this is my bias and then equal to the value of the activation functions activation function we already told you that previously how we are the get the value from the calculation now now i'm um, now this is my final outcomes of the training input data representing and this value we can predict that we have to reach one probability of one so 9.5 we can predict that very positive 3.86 is positive 0.15 we can say we because we are targeting nearby the positive side so he is saying is negative and this one also also negative very negative value okay so if you say positive side will go uh, this is the my positive side value we can take from the outcomes okay now other thing we can again implement and we can go to the backward propagation so after we can get the examples of activation functions this activation function will build three different scenario if you generated three hidden neurons if you have three hidden neurons six hidden neurons and 20 hidden neurons so if you are comparison with the three different different things then you can get if you have higher neurons you have to be get the better result okay uh, better result you can get that okay this is the example from no linear complex value if you have less than then you have less predicting outcomes okay so more hidden neurons can be complicated more complex functions okay so we have to be try as possible as do as do there there okay so we have to be use activation function these activation functions is using the formula 1 upon 1 plus One one upon one plus e to the power minus x. This is the uh, formula we can call is the sigmoid function. This sigmoid functions basically work under the Rn uh, real value number. Then uh, range in the between the zero to one. Zero not filling at all. One is using the filling rate fully fully rate. So in between they have 
other formula also using in different terms but uh, in the neural network in the neuro neural network we are basically using the uh, symboid function this symboid function we have to be get the the value and we can get the particular outcomes from the particular input value okay so uh, uh, <coughs> this is the different scenario but we can't take we can't activation will take only symboid function we can use them outcomes we get from the symboid functions because till now in the computer of as well as computer as well as the electronics student they are using one formula from symboid function other functions they are using that different different scenarios but i think supposed to be uh, we have to be get better result uh, to the symboid functions okay so they have to be overfitting error it depending from error how we are coming that a middle parameters if you have that the noise other thing will how you are remove the things in the data set this is the most example they have other the different different perspectives are there now we have to be saying uh, uh, supposed to be we have to be taking from the uh, this is the neural network and this is the regionalizations this is the uh, drop out they have one hidden layer this hidden layer is the randomly drop unit among with there the connections during the training set each training each unit is retrained with the fixed probability we can call it as p and individually independent of the other units he is not depending from the unit to unit okay this is the hyper parameter p used to be choosing the turn okay this is the one example this one example we can carry forward the wait on the early stoppage okay if you have not error will be detecting from the particular outcomes come then we have to be calculating the dropping ratio will generated there so this is the tunnel hyper parameters if you have grid and random layer this this is the, the two examples are there the grid parameter if you have ne ne required the grid things and other things so we have to be get the parameters and you can get the value of the things like that and this is the formula you have to calculating the loss functions and the outcomes come okay so this uh, outcomes with the training examples uh, classifications outcomes and the loss functions will cross them if you if you require the training data set classification regression different classification is different okay so if you are using the training example then you can use rn rn x class 1 to class n non hot encoding and then outcome is the soft maximum this is the formula you can get the output of the probability distribution if you get the cost loss functions then cross entropy you have to be calculate like this formula to get the fixed values of the if you have recursion you can use them then multiply rn into rm for training data set if your outcomes then for linear then you have to be smooth smooth function you can use then fx equal to x if you have loss function then mean square error mun then using the this formula to calculating and mean absolute error if you need the value of j j j delta is 1 upon n to be y1 to the yn this is the uh, to calculating the outcomes from the uh, cost functions to outcomes here okay now i will stop uh, to the training part and now you can ask uh, anything from what you are teach them uh, from these presentations or maybe you have to be asked them hello i am audible now you can ask anything from the presentation hello yes yes i'm here ठीक है okay you can ask query from sir topic is completed hi i stop them i think supposed to be last 15 minutes to give to the participate to be interact them 
they will interact with me if you want otherwise i will continue last 15 sir, minutes also sir please continue sir okay okay no problem no problem no issue no issue okay sir. so uh, i sorry Uh, so this is the loss and function now we have to be go uh, very popular algorithms are there uh, this is the cnn algorithms this is the very popular algorithms are there so these uh, algorithms we have to be uh, uh, to be uh, to be cnn uh, so this cnn algorithm is computational uh, vector form and okay this is the Uh, group and then afterward forward okay how we are doing cnn communication neural network this communication network we can uh, starting from the task we have to be divided in three different directions are there mm -hmm. see three different directions is first direction is like that uh, we have to be take the input matrix this input matrix uh, have to be uh, divided in just like supposed to be two cross through values 3 cross 3 value 4 cross 4 values okay he depending from your input parameters okay is supposed to be your input parameters are like that 3 uh, cross 3 communication matrix we can getting from there supposed to be so we have to cnn filtration applying the mechanism this mechanism we input there our images and we can get the concluding features are also be there okay uh, this implementation is just like for uh, task uh, is the basically using from the uh, computer vision supposed to be just supposed to be is example random example is going on they are testing one by one if you are seeing that uh, so this example uh, to be get from the outcomes from the uh, uh, supposed to be Uh, i suppose to be uh, i am taking the uh, three different random examples are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 nine time the images will be calculated uh, by the uh, cnn uh, cnn and then we can get the outcomes from the features okay so now you are seeing that the values comes and these values will be predict them your final images will be there okay so Uh, how we are get the value now we are seeing that main cnn idea for text is like that uh, uh, and gamma group uh, them after forward group them after forward okay features of the mapping first of all pooling pool will be generated supposed to be we, now we are pooling is the 2 into 2 filter mechanism will apply that class so this pooling will apply and we can take the with the uh, to the to the uh, one by one value will be take from the input parameter supposed to be if you are seeing that uh, the, if you are calculating the value for cnn mechanism then we can get the value of supposed to for 2 by 2 cross one value we will get from the 6 another we will get from the 8 then again we get from 9 because highest value we take them maximum pooling maximum pooling mechanism is like that we have to be get from the maximum value from there supposed to be the group is 6 you are seeing that features map is there 6454 8558 5, 5, now two values are similar but the maximum value will get from the 8 okay that's third one 3679 now don't have any problem then 777 means 777 comes but the maximum value is 7 is there okay so this is the mechanism to apply the to the to identify the value from the input parameters okay <clears throat> supposed to be supposed to be uh, supposed to be uh, the symmetric matrix are there these symmetric matrix are to be calculating there if you are seeing that uh, 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 if you seeing that uh, symmetric matrix uh, s uh, the subset of uh, r 
is d is multiply with the summation of s okay so s is the overall feature the the whole text we written here i love my new iphone and smiley okay so we have to be take from the features from one matrix we taking from there uh, this matrix and uh, this matrix from here uh, maybe this is the 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 multiply 1 2 3 7 multiply by 3 we can take from there then after we have to be applying uh, conventional features map these conventional or uh, maybe the cnn method applying that we identify how many layers will implement here 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay the 4 is the final outcomes comes from the 3 <laughs> sorry the, the features mechanism we implement there these feature we have to take from here then from here then from here then from here we are applying here then others will apply here some apply here and supply here okay now the value comes here this value comes here this red value comes here pooling now pool representing which is the most important which highest value here depending pool uh, how you are required the subset of r 1 into multiply by n okay so these features will be applying and then we have to be implementation from soft and the uh, soft max mechanism we apply that supposed to be this is the uh, plus plus oblique minus minus is nothing this is the example we have to be get the value from the uh, examples is here okay so this is the simple text classification uh, examples is there to implement there okay so if you have to representing in the different uh, cnn multiple filters mechanism apply that uh, we supposed to be our video we combine them all the videos okay so wait for the video and do not return it okay so supposed to be this is the example to the video so what will we do my mechanism four different layers we apply sliding over three four five forward at the time okay so what will we do we create the n into k represent of the sentence with with the static and non-static channel okay static we can checking then static channel as well as we have to check the non-static channel okay so this non-static channel we implement there then after we have to be convocational layer with the with the multiple feature weight and the feature map we implement there okay convocational layer with the multiple filter apply then weight and the feature mapping okay so this filter matching will apply the max over time pooling which taking previous slide maximum over time pooling we can take them then after we applying the fully connected layer fully connected layer with the dropout and the softmax outcomes okay so this is the final outcome we can get from the uh, from the uh, different layer to the final outcomes okay how we are there differentiate for D cnn to the rn recurrent neural network rnn rnn is less like that uh, idea is the previous word supposed to be they have to be connected here here they're supposed to be same same set of weight and the all steps okay uh, never change the weight value is same weight we can use then rnn uh, we applying the mechanism is just like that uh, supposed to be uh, here uh, uh, this is the weight weight and this is the uh, x value and this is the hidden layer okay so we apply in the same weight always be and then we can get the value of st is the activation functions of weightage of previous value h minus t plus weightage of hx h h is hh is there and hx is the the value come from as hx into multiply by xt of the weight value okay is summation we can do it and we can get the rnn value okay just like for stack them up the legal outcome one of one if you are implementing one of the one if you are implementing one too many then we can use them 
the features extension is there. If you are many to one, then this is the menu to one, one to one, one to many, many to one, and many to many. This is the many to many input outcome input outcome out input uh, outcome input outcome many to many and many to many they have two different examples are there maybe the synchronizing each other and the other thing will be implemented simultaneously okay so bi directional rnn is there okay so main idea is like that Uh, incorporated uh, both left and right contacts uh, main is like left and right contacts will updated there uh, outcome may not only depend on the previous element in the sequence but also feature elements are the feature elements also be there if supposed to be if you are calculating the forward direction backward directions and the final outcomes is here okay if you are forward direction uh, bi-directional then you have to be use this formula one-sided another sided you can use this formula and then combine then features then you can get the value so two rnn stack with the top of each other and the outcome is compute based on the hidden state in the both rnn okay so both direction we can take the value and then we'll, we, the outcome will be gated from there okay the past and the further on the future around a single token the single token will come and then we can get the outcomes of the value okay so sequence of an encoder decoding model this is the encoder and decoder model so we can encoding time we can get the value of encoding the value and then final outcome hidden layer and final outcomes of decoding time and the value of the outcome will get from the one hidden layer to another hidden layer okay so GRU and uh, GRU is like that main idea is the grade recurrent unit is uh, the keep around me memory to capture loan dependency allow error message to flow at the different stages depending on the input value just like supposed to be RNN uh, compute hidden layer at the next time step directly and this directly step is using NT is the summation of this layer weightage of N minus T and minus two plus hx uh, xt okay so compute the all the gate base currently input world vector and hidden stage using this formula to get the value and control uh, control how much you pass state should matter uh, how, now to z close to one we can apply input in the through the many steps okay so this is the things are there so we can say if you have reset close to zero the ignore previous hidden state allow model to drop input that the recursive in the futures okay you need with the short term dependency of on the restart uh, gate very activation if unit is long term dependency how activation updated gate from the z value okay if you have the formula to be get the value of uh, reset get similar but the different weight is if you have gate is similar but different weighted then use this formula if you have new memory if you have new memory then you can use this formula to get the memory and if you have final memory then final memory use this formula and get the value of combined combined current and the previous time steps okay so lstn lstm are more complex from but basically some institutional gru are often more predictably than lsm okay depending from the different terms are there if you have alternation mechanism this is the alternation mechanism you can use them i am steady as a blank of z you have to be identify which value we can then so main idea we can get from the these values okay so if you are scoring then you have to value of score this is the value of three then you can use the formula target and to final outcomes we can take the formula the scoring value of the hidden outcomes okay suppose to be scoring will come by one by one then point one uh, and normalization you can apply and then after normalization you have to be get the value from this formula e score upon summation of as test 
as this score is like uh, the scoring points are there and contacts are there <clears throat> uh, contacts are there uh, a, a, a t and c t now uh, we can get the value of and the formula from the ct summation of ats as uh, hs okay so this is the formula you can get the value of different different perspective and different different scenario uh, the, the value will get and we can predict that things are there average value of uh, hidden to be to be get the value of that so this is the example you can get from the outcomes from the different perspective or this is the if you have need the uh, the statement classification example this is the links are there use this link and then you have to be identified lot of positive or negative uh, statements are there okay so this is the application layer this application layer relation extension from the text and uh, this extension is geo uh, ceo large very announced that the steven john has the apple to be while and then proxy lost of the features and i want to paris france so similar things are there this is the statement to be classified knowledge base complex and social media analysis queues and analysis useful informations are there you have to take from the useful information and get them value from them task binary of multi class multiple class classification and this is just like for new point i7 plus include improve the camera taken uh, imagine features are then component while e1 and e2 yes or no then you can get the features will that now is using this formula to calculate the the outcomes is there it is also possible to include more than two entities as well as at the encoding <coughs> coder side there so this coder will be stop them with coder and g is one <coughs> and then g to be for observation and then after we can observe and the point multiplication code in 12 gt okay so this is the new features have to be introduced are there representative of representation of new iphone 7 plus and maybe is 12 13 all the features we combined take an amazon picture uh, or amazing picture we take the three perspectives are there uh, he is using embedded left embedded middle and embedded uh, right he just to introduce that this is context wise split of the state sequences are there sentence are there then this is the step number second world sequence uh, our positive feature is just like for indications from uh, word indications or positive indications or positive indication e1 e2 are there and then this indication have to be representative of the classes of 1 and 2 and 3 okay if you have all the combined features of uh, to that combined together and then we can get the all the features of amazing a uh, picture will take in better and better performance of the rest of the world we can give that okay so mlp is the things we can introduce here and uh, this uh, mlp is the first of all we are using the simoid functions uh, these simoid functions have to be dense layer n to dense layer 1 to applying that embedding uh, embedding features using the e1 then he is using the constant embedding then we can use the embedding e2 and this embedding system we are using the new iphone 7 plus include improve camera deep text okay multi layer protections are there so how we are uh, improving that the improving is there first of all uh, simoid functions are there uh, simoid function is using the formula the component hall e1 e2 question mark yes or not if you are depending then he will be combined to the max pooling all the side it then con con conocutional layer 
implemented it. This kernel equation layer we have to use uh, embedded left, middle, and right. This has middle and light. We are using the new phone i7 plus, uh, including an improving camera that text. Then afterward indicates uh, he is 57. He depending from value comes. Then position indicates e1. Then position indicate e2. He is moving camera which direction to which directions and the value comes and the, then world embedding we can use them positionally embedding e1 and positionally embedding e2 we can use them cnn features are there if supposed to be uh, using the cnn mechanism we can use them formula then we what will we do maybe we are applying then max pooling then max pooling we have used convocational filtering mechanism 2 3 and until k which is there then CN, CNN with the multiple features of sizes, filter sizes, we can use the which filter size and we can use them. And these filter sizes, we can implement the uh, combined things and you can take the, the models, we can get them. Okay. If you have BIGRU, then no need to be required. Any things are there. Uh, intention of max pooling. This max pooling are using YGRU implement and we can get the outcomes there. Okay. Then if you had distance supervision and uh, distance supervision, we announced then uh, the algorithm we can use the automatically labeling this automatically labeling problem. We can use them and this use and label uh, uh, implement to the relation in the text. Okay. How we are we are assumption is like that. When two entities co-occur at, at the sentence and kitten kitten relations in speed knowledge basis, these uh, knowledge bases are two type of entity, date of birth, date of birth, they have two entity one, entity two. We apply the, the, the broken uh, back of move for great and Mitchell Jensen meet in the Huawei. He is using the text with the relation of the place of the birth. Okay. So many uh, relations are there. Co, uh, co, uh, or, or occasions is does not grant to be give the uh, existence of relations. Distance supervision providing maybe the false positive relations are the fake. False positive, false negative is there. So we apply the things. Okay. So we can say uh, uh, our sentence is there the as the represent of the sequence set of s a i a is a is this is a i or maybe the alpha alpha i weight gives the sentence level intention then x i is the sequence vector representation as well as the x i is the sentence and the entity uh, pair uh, even uh, set of e1 and e2 for n statement of relations of r e1 and e2 okay so this is the sentence level att results though so att result we can combine the things and we can get the better result okay so this is the data set different different uh, stock results cnn1 cnn abt cnn plus att are there so this is the implementation to be get the wedding results and these things are there they put there so there are some references are there so these references you can use them so uh, this is the uh, one presentations uh, one more presentation is there as to be introduced some good features about the neural network just give me one minute uh, not giving i just give you uh, if you are covering the neural networks then i will give you mathematical examples to be understanding Okay, I just yeah. This is the neural network. Uh, this is the machine learning already covered them. I cover them. Supervised and supervised learning is there. So this is the this part is already covered. Uh, this one is activation function. Neural network is the function is there. And this is the some examples are there by propagation algorithm machine learning outcomes is there so some uh, mathematical examples just like that 
I taking one back propagation. I'll go to We have only 10 to 15. So we cover the, these things also, also with that. So back propagation has got some. First of all, we divided in 784 to different different nodons. OK, so this is my input is 784. Two hidden layer are representing here. So these two hidden layer we have to identify by two. How we identify? Uh, first of all, we have to take all the and the bias combined together. Suppose to be this line will comes around the 3.20 supposed to be and this is the value comes in point eight. So we mean value we calculated new uh, neurons with the weightage of one value from this one, one value from this one. So combined together, then value will get from 2.85. OK, supposed to be uh, my my input is there. Supposed to be this is the final outcomes is there is supposed to be how much they are complicated here. Only one two value to be identified here. So cost of the one example is there. We have tried to be real. Outcomes is here. So this outcome is which one is the most important feature supposed to one, three and six. One, three and six is uh, getting from there from output, but my outcomes comes to here. So still gaps are there. So these gaps will removing by the, the value. OK, so what will we do? Whatever value comes is here. Supposed to be this is the negative symbol and this is the positive symbol. This comes there. OK, so we try to be. We try to be uh, try to be ignore or maybe remove that and uh, which feature is required. We can try to be get the features. OK, so my target is to be achieve here point two to be uh, to be get the value of higher. OK, so they have two point two and point two. This value is not required, so we remove and this value we required so we can take from there. So what will we do? Neurons then fire together and wire together. So this is the formula bias. This is activation function. This is seeing that if you up and how we will up them, we have uh, increased the weightage and propagations of AI and change the value of AI. OK, so this is the propagation method. This is the test time. One, two, three, four and time of we have to use up and down, up and down. We can use them all the neurons and get the value of weight and bias. OK. So propagation algorithm, we can get the value from the uh, one directional to the another directional by the formula and the final outcomes. If you are seeing that average over the all training data set, then you have to get the value from the uh, W0, W1, uh, W2, W3. Hmm. Then uh, the all training data set you can get from the just like supposed to be W0 to get the value from W W matrix value. We get the things here. OK, if you have combined together uh, average over the all training data set, then final outcome. Will be here. So point 0.12, maybe the point 0.8, minus point 0.08, point 0.06 and point 0.04. We get the value from there. OK, so final outcomes. If you are seeing that randomly, we can plot the graph. Then you have to be identify the value of which one is the calculating from the value. So we can say positive side 3985. If you are seeing that plotting graph, then we get the value from here. This value we can't then using the using the back propagation, but we try to be get the value of 3985. Okay. So this value we can't get it there. So we 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 implementation again and again we apply and we can get the value of O. Okay, so this is the algorithms are there. If you are seeing that different different algorithm, and this is the formula. If you are calculating the base and bias, supposed to be, this is the one hidden example. I am taking back propagation algorithm. This is the input layer. This is the hidden layer, and this is the outcomes is here. They are connected to the base and bias. The V is again weight. W is weight. Y again different different name because you, you easily to understand here. Okay, supposed to be. This is the formula. We initialize way to small random value. Then this uh, using the calculate net input to each hidden layer by this formula outcome of the this formula. If you have error, then you can get the value of there. Identify then get the value of there. Supposed to be I am taking and example and example 0 and 1 and get, and example is get the target value of, of 1. And learning rate is 125 using the binary sumoid activation functions and get the value of there. So first of all, Z in one, Z in one is the value. Z in one is coming from the 0, 01, 01 and 01, 0, 01, 
value and then we can calculate the value. So 0 1 V plus X1 V11 plus X2 V21 value will be calculating 0.2. Z2 is Z in 1 2 and then we sir, uh, sir slide uh, ki jo reference hai, we move nahi ho rahi, sir. Huh? Slide is not movable, sir. Not possible. Sir, only show in reference and resources slide. No, no, no. Just wait, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please. Okay, okay, okay. Just, just. Now is. Uh... Please again, sir. Events. That's right, right. Sir, you didn't told me till now. <laughs> it's not. It's okay. It's okay. Now, this is okay. now is okay. Okay. Sir. Now is like that. Uh, it's supposed to be. This is the back propagation algorithm. Example is there. Okay. This back propagation example is like that. Uh, input layer. Uh, input is one. Hidden layer is there, and then outcomes is here. Okay. So this hidden layer. Uh, I'm taking one propagation algorithm. Uh, how we are? They are connected each other. Uh, X1, X2, Xn. Then Z1, Z, Zj, Zp, Y1, Yk, and Ym. Okay. They are interconnected by the neural network algorithms are there. Supposed to be initialized way to small random value. And so this is small value. Uh, OK, uh, this is the formula to get the input of each input value. OK, and uh, Zj equal to Z, oh, Z formula this one. Then calculate the outcome from the hidden layer of the apply activation functions using this formula. Then if it's supposed to be you have uh, outcome from the same thing W2. If you have required the outcomes of YK, uh, bias plus uh, weight plus summation of all the values, apply activation functions. If you have error, then we can calculate it here. If you have uh, error correction terms, then you can use the, this formula by the thing. Now I'm taking one example, mathematic example. Uh, 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 mathematical example I will take from the end operation and operation is 0 and 1 and the final outcome is 1 okay so my target output is 2 1 my learning rate is 0.25 using the binary simoise function and then get the value of okay bias is already assigned here and the weight is also also assigned here okay how we are calculating here supposed to be step number one calculating net input put z1 layer z1 layer is z1 how many inputs are coming here first of all bias come here this is the v01 bias plus multiply how many x1 value comes here x1 value comes here multiply with the weight x2 value come here multiply the uh, weight so v01 0, 03 plus multiply x1 0 plus v11 is 0.06 plus x2 x2 value is 1 v21 is minus 02 minus 01 so total outcome value is z in 1 this is now new input value because we don't know any and and we know here outcome value but here uh, the out at z1 value we don't know z2 value we don't know so z1 value we get it then now z2 layer z2 layer is z into the same thing 0 1 2 bias plus add them all the value of summation of xi plus xi into vi2 plus x2 into v22 so 0 into minus 0 0.3 plus 1 into 0 0.04 equal to 0 0.09 okay we can get two value z1 will get z2 will get now we can because g x1 x2 we know the value of 0 and 1 now we can get the value of input value of x1 input value of x2 now we can go from the y type y places so how because before applying the value of y we know the value of z1 and z2 okay z1 we can activate it because we get the value of the value of x1 z in 1 z in 1 z in 2 value will get it there so activation function is there <coughs> 1 upon 1 plus e key power minus x x is here z in 1 okay so z in 1 we calculated in the previous terms 
प्रीवियस स्लाइड वन अपॉन वन प्लस ई की पावर माइनस पॉइंट टू तो हाउ मच वी कैन गेट पॉइंट फाइव फोर नाइन एट ओके सो नाउ द सेम थिंग वी कैन अप्लाई जेड टू जेड टू इज वेलिंग एफ एफ एक्टिवेशन ऑफ जेड इन टू सेम फॉर्मूला वन अपॉन ई की पावर माइनस जेड इन टू माइनस जेड इन टू वी कैन गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ पॉइंट नाइन सो वन अपॉन वन प्लस ई की पावर माइनस पॉइंट नाइन सो वैल्यू कैलकुलेटिंग पॉइंट सेवन वन जीरो नाइन नाउ Finally, Z1 and Z2 will cal calculating. Now we are calculating the value of y. Y in is the value of formula Z W0 weighted plus Z1 bias plus Z1 W1 Z2 W2. This value comes is 0.2 minus 0.2. Z1 is comes from here. This value from weight is already in the uh, the figure is there. Then plus 0.7109 into uh, the 0.01 multiply there. okay so if you are calculating all the terms then we can get the final value of 0.09 this is the input value this is not a final outcomes final outcomes once you are applying the activation function f i n 1 upon e ki power minus y1 if you are calculating my outcome is 0.5227 what is the my outcomes and uh, my final outcomes required Uh, target out is my one. My predictions outcome is coming from 0.5227. Now, how much gap is there? 48.488 percent is error. We are get in the first time we are calculating the formula. So now forwarding algorithm we done it. Now we are try to be apply back propagation algorithm. Back propagation algorithm we can say we try to be remove the error and then we can apply again. So we are apply the target value of this is the formula to get the value of the outcome value so first of all y y dash y in we don't know so f dash 1 minus y in y in value we already getting then y in 0.527 multiply by 0.529 so delta 1 delta 1 is 1 minus 0.57 multiply 0.29 is the value of 0.1191 so this is the first outcome value will get them delta w1 delta w1 Change the weight between the hidden layer outcome layer. The alpha learning rate delta one z one. This rate is 0.25 multiply by delta one will get the value of 0.1191 into multiply by z one is 0.5298. So this is the first. Now my next time we apply this formula, this weightage to the replace of this weightage because previously if you are seeing that. my previous weight is there 0.1 now is replaced 0.12 to to the 0.0164 delta w2 alpha z1 z2 multiply 0.25 into 0.91 into 0.992 so 0.997 this is the weight so if you are change the bias bias formula is like that alpha delta 1 alpha delta 1 This alpha delta is 0.25 multiply by 0.119. This is the new weight. So now in the just is supposed to be we change this value, we change this value, weight it, weight value we change weight value there, weight value there and weight value there. Now two weight value we replace them. Now next time we can apply, we can change the value. The same thing we implementation change the whole the value. This is the same formula you can use them, and you can change the weight value. Now I. after changing you can apply the mechanism and apply the mechanism and get the outcome from the same hidden layer okay so previously uh, now if you second time run the this formula and then you can seeing that uh, next time you run the run again then you can get the 0.78 means again error will come again you go through go through uh, again go through and then a forward propagation algorithm you apply that and again you can you can apply and you can use them okay so uh, forward propagation algorithm uh, four time you can run this formula uh, back forward propagation forward propagation then you final outcome you can get them the value okay so this is the final outcome from back propagation algorithms now you can uh, now i now i think supposed to be i stop them and you can ask from your side query you have to be whatever i will explain today please ask them now
I, I just taking mathematical example as well as as a the theoretical example. Uh, all the things I will cover them. Any query, any questions related to this session? Any participant? Anything you can ask them. Whatever you have to be similar type of queries you have in your yes, mind. Sir. Definitely, I will explain properly. Any query related to this session, yeah, any query issue, then you can ask with Dr. Karan sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir, Dr. Sir, Karan sir. Thank okay. you for a knowledgeable session.